So, I'm on my way to Longleat now and I've decided I'm going to do a bit of progressive riding. So I'm going to be cutting through queues and traffic uh, just because I woke up quite late today. So, um, basically, if you haven't been to Longleat before, it's a very large safari park with a, a very large Elizabethan country house. And it's, uh, it, it really makes for a great day out with the family. But uh, since I'm going on my own, I'm not going to bother with the safari.
I'm probably not going to talk to myself too much while I'm here because I already look like a massive idiot with this camera stuck to my head so uh, we're going to go on quiet mode So I'm just going to quickly mention you're not allowed any photography in here because the flash can damage the paintings. So in order to avoid that, they've banned photography completely. But the gentleman in the library said it would probably be okay as long as other guests don't see that I'm filming. So uh, I'm going to try and sneak a few sneaky video clips. Well, we could only get on a few floors today, so um, it's not very cost effective in my opinion, but it's, uh, it's nice to look around.
normally we drive places and go through the city for us. <laughs> Fifteen years old. How old yeah. do they live? Uh, tend to be about 30, 35, 40. They can potentially like to feel your heart beating in your hands. Really? <laughs> but that's about it. And he's just getting himself nice and comfy. Oh, I'll put him he's back to you. Nice then. and warm. And he's like, I want to steal your hips. <laughs> Brilliant. Thank you. Okay, we got a little situation. We got some spilt drink. So uh, I'm gonna tip that out, feed the ants. Oh my God, wonderful.
lovely. That's only ever happened twice to me in my whole riding career. There's not really much we can do with that, so forget the coffee, forget the drink. And uh, as I've mentioned in a previous video, under my seat I carry hand sanitizer. And it's just for these situations, so I haven't got sticky fingers from soda pop. Oh, uh, aloe vera. I wonder. Bit of give and take. Lots of take. Take it. Go on, get in there. See, so look at that. This, this bag was built for this motorcycle jacket. Fits like a glove. Actually it does, it fits about the same as my glove. Really awkward. Come on. Oh, beautiful. So, that's Clay Hill, or Clee Hill. It's spelt C-L-E-Y. And uh, that's literally a mile from that house that we've just visited. So, <laughs> when you're a bit closer, it actually looks very steep. I'd imagine it's gonna take a little while to get up there. So I'm gonna, really enjoy this walk, take my time, and uh, hopefully it'll be nice when I get to the top. Actually, that looks really steep. Grip on it. Oh, wow. That was definitely worth it. This is absolutely spectacular and this is the first time I've ever climbed this. I must have passed it over 150 times. But uh, today's the first day I've decided to uh, climb it. And do you know what? I really wish I had my tent with me right now. This is absolutely amazing. I think now is the perfect time for a selfie. So. And one with the stone. So I think now is the right time to read this bit of paper. And uh, motorcycling for me is 50% destination, 50% riding. I enjoy them both equally. So when I end up somewhere like this, and I'm taking the bike to get here, it just makes a complete experience for me that's absolutely incredible. But um, a guy called Sunny Mass on YouTube sent me this, and um, it kind of sums up motorcycling. I've added a little bit to it, but uh, I'll just read it off to you. 
We cannot fully explain what it is about motorcycle riding. We can only show a little bit of our own personal experience. If you want the full knowledge, you have to start riding yourself. Once you start riding, you appreciate the simple things. You feel the wind and the weather, the hot and the cold. You feel the sun and the rain and the power of your machine. The silence of the road, destination or no destination. And acknowledge the other riders who share this experience. Only then can you understand us and why we choose to ride. And uh, as cheesy as that quote is, I think it's absolutely brilliant. So, um, yeah, thank you for watching today's video. I'm probably going to sit up here for about another 15 minutes and then uh, I'm going to head back. But uh, I really do wish I had my tent with me right now. This would be an amazing place to sleep. Well, that's for a future video. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Watch where you're going. <laughs> God, that's a bit steep, isn't it? <sighs> oh. Well, I'm still here. Where's that go? Oh, stingers. Yeah, stick. <laughs> <laughs>